The one thing they all have in common, I think, is they're hungry. And I know that sounds simplistic, but I believe that's the single most important element that separates the quality of people's lives. It's not just the ability to have hunger, but to sustain it. Hunger means that you want more. You want more of yourself, you want to make a bigger difference, you want to be a better parent, you want to, you want to do something more than there is today and that you don't get satisfied. Most people start out with hunger at an early stage of life and they lose it. But the people that come to me are hungry either because something's happened, they've had a birthday with a zero on it, they've gone through a divorce, they're starting a business and they know I've got to have a different level or they're the best in the world and they're always looking for that edge that makes the difference. I think everybody is born with hunger. Like there's a desire to grow, to expand, to learn, and then disappointment sets in early in life for most people. And then we look to blame something outside of ourselves. And there are many events in our lives that can affect us all. We've all had pain and challenges. But I think um, if you can find within yourself the part of you that wants to, to constantly give something more than yourself. If you can find a mission larger than yourself, then you're more pulled to do something than trying to push yourself. And pull has much more power than push. I always say motive does matter. That if, you, if your motive is to serve something greater, there is an energy that comes up inside of you. So I'm, I, I feed two million people a year because somebody fed my family when I was 11 years old and um, now this year we're feeding four million. I, you know, I wanna do more in that area. And every business I'm in, that drive just doesn't go away. The capacity to strengthen and increase your hunger is the one common denominator amongst the most successful people. You know, they've never lost their hunger. Most people are hungry to achieve a certain amount, make a certain amount of money, and then they get comfortable and relax, or to get a certain level of fitness, and then they relax. But, you know, Richard is as driven today as when he was 16 years old starting. I mean, he's like on fire and he's 65 years old. Warren Buffett is 85 years old. He's as driven today as when you know he began the journey, right? I believe intelligence, I, I love people that are wickedly smart. Yeah. And I work to be wickedly smart by educating and training myself and so forth and training my brain. There's a lot of intelligent people who can't fight their way out of a paper bag, yeah. right? Absolutely. Hunger is the ultimate driver. Because if you're hungry, you can get the strategy, you can get the answer. If you can't model it, you can find it. So hunger, Modeling would be maybe the next best skill, knowing that success leaves clues. The best way is get around where it's better and things will hit you. Who you spend time with is who you become. How bad do you want your goal right now? Do you want it as bad as breathing? Do you want it as bad as anything you ever wanted in your life? And if you calibrate it at the highest enough levels, what I found is the people that are the hungriest, they find a way. When you know why you want something, when it's desperation, the power of being desperate is something that most people avoid. They think desperation is a weakness. And I'm here to tell you, desperation is one of the most powerful emotions you could possibly possess because when you're desperate, you find reserves and reservoirs of ideas, talents, and a strength that you don't know you have when you find yourself in a desperate situation. So ironically, the one thing most people avoid in their life Hunger, which is caused by being desperate. When you're starving, you become desperate. So the number one thing we need more than anything to win is hunger, which comes from a state of desperation. Yet we're constantly trying to comfort ourselves in the real world to avoid the state of being desperate. And I'm telling you that I think you need to embrace desperation again in your life. Like, do you want it so bad that you're desperate for it? See, in a fight, you show me two people. This is why it's so hard to repeat as a champion in the fighting game. Because you show me someone who's up and coming, who's hungry for that title, who's never had it before, who can taste it, who knows if they win that belt, their whole life's gonna change. They're gonna be champion of the world. All the endorsements, all the money, all their family life, all their parents' lives are gonna change. You show me somebody chasing that hungry for it against someone who's just trying to hold on to a title. And that's why most of the time the challenger beats the champ. It's hard to repeat as a champion because the hunger goes down just a little bit. The greatest athletes, the Kobe's, the Brady's, the Jordans of sports have a way of feeding their hunger all the time and increasing it. What separates them isn't just their work ethic, isn't just their talent, although those things matter, isn't just they practice more. What separates them is they're just hungrier. They somehow find a way as they climb up the ranks and win championship to get even hungrier for more, where 99% of the athletes lose just a little bit of their edge once they get that first championship, that first pro contract, that first big amount of money, that first world championship. They just lose their hunger a little bit. And then there's the elite, they get hungrier. It feeds the beast.